from oh. Crete. <laughs> we've arrived just at the sunset. Got off on our ferry and we've landed in our hostel. We're only going to be here in Iraklio for one I'm night. On Marina's posting on her Instagram. But we've only got a couple of hours until it gets dark, so we're probably just going to be walking around exploring the city, and there's going to be a couple of clips of that. But tomorrow is going to be the real big day. The mission for tonight, before we get back into our hostel room, is to find me deodorant because I really smell. Like, like you smell. Food over there. Is there no place that sells deodorant? <laughs> Not a fan of the spray ones, though. Rollies are nice. I'm trying to see. Where are the rollies? I'm trying to see if the. Yeah. I think you need extra control. Let's get this for you. You need a. It's lit. It's so packed, and there's music playing everywhere, and they're playing Dua Lipa, and I love Dua Lipa. Hey guys, so some of our clips got deleted, well, the audio got deleted, so here's a bus ride to Spinalonga Island. We just took a couple clips of us chilling on there. Uh, the bus ride is about an hour, so enjoy. Got off the bus uh, from Miracleon to Agios Nikolaos. Marina's hungry. Marina's hungry, Luca's hungry too. And to get to Spinalonga Island, we do have to take another bus from Plaka. So we just bought our tickets, but we have about an hour to kill right now, so we're gonna grab something to eat. Guys, we're on bus number two. Dos. Dos. Ba. On the way to Plaka. From, from then, we're gonna get on a ferry. And we only found the bus because of me, so. At first, when Luca told me we were going to that island, I thought he meant like the, the cat, like the animal. Mm. Basically made a whole le leper colony for people with leprosy in the 1900s and late 1800s and it lasted for about a hundred years. We are now walking through Dante's Gate, which is the famous gate of never turning back. That was so dramatic. Never. 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 that they sent the lepers to live in. So imagine having a bed right here. And then each resident was given a certain amount of money, like a monthly allowance. So they did have some kind of financial freedom. But at the same time, you weren't allowed to leave the island. Before this place was a leper colony, it was also most famously known as one of the most important Venetian fortresses of its time and also one of the longest standing. I believe in the late 16th century it was uh, founded and then it lasted a whole of 200, 300 years. So I've made it to the top. I don't feel like there's anyone else around me here. Not even Marina wanted to come with me because she thought it was nothing special up here but, well, and she might be right. But, I did find this incredible little gate thing. And it's right on the top. Now, like I said, this used to be a Venetian fortress. And it's one of the longest standing ones as well. I think it went from 
1560 something or 1570 something all the way up to the early 1700s until uh, it was taken over by the Ottoman Empire who had already captured all of Crete by the way by then but the Venetians decided to hold on to Spinalonga Island because they believed that it was a very strategic position and they would be able to get the whole island back. There's still a boatload of history and the remnants of it are definitely there. It's located on an extremely interesting strategic location because uh, I forget the name, I'm gonna write it up in there, but there used to be an ancient city right nearby Alunda, which this fortress was actually meant to be guarding. And apparently some myths say that uh, this wasn't even an island at one point, but instead it was blown up to become one, so it could become a fortress. Opposite of me, that way, if you go far enough, you will find the island of Rhodes, and if you go even farther, it's Turkey. As you can see, it's not quite connected to the main bigger island over there. It was only this small island, which was the fortress and later converted to house the lepers. Hey guys, we're editing right now and I just wanted you to see that while Luca was having the time of his life roaming around at the top level of Spinalonga, I was at the bottom thinking that I lost him and that I was lost. and. I was freaking out, so enjoy that. Update, I can't find Luca and there's no people. There's like maybe two people. And I'm a little creeped out by the island in itself and now the fact that I'm alone walking and there's no people around me and I can't find Luca and it's been like 30 minutes, I might cry. I won't cry. I'm scared, I think a school came and they're blocking off my exit so I'm taking a whole other circle around. I've come to the conclusion that I'm definitely overreacting. I see people up there but I just don't know where I'm supposed to meet him. I've decided I'm gonna make my way up and put this in my own hands. It was in 1957 in which they decided to discontinue this place because there had been a cure for leprosy and most of the people most, when I say most, I think I read somewhere that there were maybe 20 people who still decided to stay after the cure. But everyone decided to move over there, back to Crete, where they retreated for their leprosy and then they didn't need to come back ever again. unsafe looking around for about half an hour here now and it looks to me that every single house is roughly the same size here they're not the biggest I'm here everyone, I know you guys missed me while Luca was doing all the vlogging. Okay, 
we are now at a it's not an actual beach but we made it a beach and we are going to swim because we need to cool off it is you guys haven't hot. noticed the whole vlog i've been sweating like a maniac so ooh, it's so hot Okay, so last night after Spinalonga, we just went swimming on a private beach. We were sneaky and then we got a bus back all the way to Heraklion, well two buses. We ate dinner and then we just went back to our room and slept so we didn't feel much. But right now we are at the Palace of Nosos and we don't want a guide so Luca is reading up so he can be our guide. Pro tip on how to save money. <laughs> <laughs> so we came here expecting to pay like 40 euros it ended up being free turns out it is international um like museum day or something or just greek museum day so we every single very lucky. artifact place is free so in this place legend has said that the minotaur roamed around and if you've ever heard of the story of the minotaur and the labyrinth you would know that in there, in the palace of Nosos, the Minotaur was kept put, which is a half man, half bull, by King Minos. And it was designed, the palace, by Daedalus, which is one of the most famous architects in all of Greece, to be such a maze that you couldn't ever get out and the Minotaur would eat you. Lena's <laughs> mocking my hands right now. But King Minos had a son, and King Minos sent his son to go compete in Athens in the Olympic Games. Son goes to the Olympic Games, wins the games, but then the king of Athens goes and sends him to marathon, you know, like the running marathon. But the king Minos' son gets killed by a bull. And then king Minos is obviously really pissed off, so he declares war on Athens, because at the time, Crete was not a part of Athens. Zeus in mythology decides that that is right, and Crete wins. Minos wins. And then the, the king of Athens is forced to do whatever King Minos decides to see fit. And what King Minos decided to see fit was every year the king of Athens needed to send seven boys and seven girls over to this labyrinth, Palace of Nosos, to be able to be sacrificed for the Minotaur. And this carried on for a couple of years, all up until one named Theseus came and it was his turn to be sacrificed. Well, he fell in love with the king's princess and the king's princess gave him a ball of yarn so he wouldn't get lost and he could just follow the ball of yarn. So he went in, he killed the minotaur and he left. Do you guys like my outfit? Fit check. Hashtag fit check. We were walking around and Luca was vlogging and we met another YouTuber, a motivational speaker. His name speaker. is Asbjorn Jensen, so everyone go like and subscribe to well, him. He does helpful tips on motivational stuff and I don't really know exactly, yeah, but, but go and subscribe. We haven't, <laughs> we'll subscribe. Luca is refusing to leave because he thinks he'll never come back here it's again. It's the oldest city in the world. I so mean in he, Europe. He's refusing to leave. Like we're walking towards legs and he keeps turning around. Come on, Luca. No. Let's leave. No. Look. This is going to be a struggle. Old. It's old. <laughs> 